Oh, we're at war? Let's go through Voss. Or Vasa, however you want to say it. Oh, look, your name is no longer in Siberia. It's it's not, thank goodness. That was kind of ridiculous. Thuringia really asked me to come big. to war with Lorraine, Livonian Order, Saxony, Brandenburg, and Friesland. Sure. Brandenburg's getting its shit kicked in. Yeah, good. Hold on, I got an unlawful territory demand. Ha <laughs> ha! You want to know how I'm going to circumvent that? How's, how are you going to do that? Because we're at 23. Declare war on Georgia. And now I decline and I don't get the penalty. Eat a dick, Austria. <laughs> good job. <laughs> I knew I kept you around for something, Fran uh, Georgia. That's totally not gamey at all. No! <laughs> us us doing gamey things together? No. No, that's that's not. That's not gonna happen. That would never happen. No. I could become the defender of the uh reformed faith. Good for you. Why I'd want that I don't know. I'm surprised Muscovy has not become defender of the faith. Yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well. Apparently I need an East Asian port to found a Indian trade company. Right. So I'm trying to figure out how to get one of those. Polotsk! Your faithful allies requesting you come to their aid in the Russian conquest of Mogilev. Uh, God damn it, Russia. Yeah, Russia's kicking the shit out of me in this this uh, gaining land in Siberia thing. I hope they don't take, um... Decline. East Tenguska. Why would you do that, Russia? Put me in a shitty position like that. Because they know we're going to betray them very soon. Well... I guess I'm going to rival them. Who, Russia? Yeah. We're going to go to war with them soon, huh? My third slot is either them or you. Yeah. It's amusing that I'm big enough that you should act you actually consider me a potential rival. It's probably because you're on my border. Yeah. Well, we still have to be appropriate size. Yeah, but if you border them, it's really generous in what the range is, size range. You should probably start fabricating claims on them. Unless you want to make it a superiority war, which will get ugly. Who, Russia? Yeah. I already have. You should definitely go um, make uh, Krivoy Rog a claim, and that the war goal, because that'll be a lot easier to take and hold. At least for the ticking war score. Done. We're done it now. You're going to want to send your men up, because... Uh, as always, since I'm the I'm the fucking border state. Oh, well, uh, we're not fighting until you have a lot more troops. Yeah. You also have shitty manpower. You need to build barracks and stuff. Yeah, I might start working on that now. I have a lot of armories. I can't build barracks though. Well. Anything that increases manpower is kind of good for you. Yeah. Me and my 400k manpower. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's lovely never having to worry about running out of troops. Yeah, I wish that was the case. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I wish that wasn't a concern. Yeah, poor Voss. 
If I didn't have to soak every single aggressive army, I would be in a lot better position. Yeah, you, uh... Certainly do eat a lot of pointless invasions, don't you? Yeah! It's all for the better good, but at the same time, it's like, I can't... I cannot... walk through that. It's just like, every single time... It's like, do you do you want to have a pointless invasion? No, too bad, here's a pointless invasion. Yeah. Like, the 40,000 men that you're supposed to be getting fighting you immediately go for me. And that's like, <laughs> yeah. fuck. Milan's like, no, we can't fight them, so we'll just march across the world. Yeah, march across the world and, and just punch me in the face. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. It was! It was like, what's the point? It was it was it was really frustrating. I I was really annoyed by that. It was pretty funny. It was funny, but at the same time, it really doesn't help us gain a land fast, does it? No. No. And what are, what are we trying to do? Wait wait wait! I just raided a Spanish treasure fleet that was carrying 125 gold. I got point twelve gold. <laughs> They have so many people patrolling for pirates in Seville. Nice. Meanwhile, France is like, nah, we're not gonna patrol Genoa. We don't care. Fuck France. Yeah, I send privateers against them all the time. Good. They now have the mission to annex Alsace. Let them. The Holy Roman Empire is now back up to 33 states. What happened? I don't know. Wasn't it like 26 earlier? Yeah. Active seclusion. That's the thing, the third one that you've got? Today. Today. Yeah. Oh, Persia is now stomping on QQ. Yeah, you'll want to declare war on Persia at some point. I might declare war on um, Kiva here. You should need Kiva now. Yeah. I'll need to move some men down there, but it shouldn't take long. Yeah, I would annex Georgia now, but I have to wait until Siena is cored, so Austria doesn't demand unlawful territory again. The little fuckers. Yep. It's so cute that they think I will ever accept. It's like, I did not take 30 AE to just give this province up. Yeah. Apparently, I can now one-shot the Pope in the next war. Unfortunately, France is still defender of the Catholic faith. I can do what we did last time. Yeah. It'll be fun. Sounds kind of funny. We'll do it again. We'll do it again, and then uh, we should probably again start thinking about. Oh, uh, Russia ate Polosk. They went. They moved yeah. your uh, guarantee. Yeah, they didn't eat all of it, which is nice. Yeah. You should totally invade Polots now too. I don't know if I actually have you. I can do actually. Two. You know what? Just focus on Kiva. Yeah. We're gonna want to take out Russia no matter what. Yeah. That's gonna be an ugly war. Yeah, yeah it is. There will be a lot of pausing in that war. Would France join that war? Against who? Kiva? Russia. Yes. They would. Yes. If we declared right now, they would. Huh. They wouldn't be able to walk through them. Walk to them. Hmm. But they Who would. Do they have access through. I don't know. Oldenburg, Portugal, and Hansa. It doesn't help. Apparently, France owns Bremen. <laughs> yeah. Well, stayed, not Bremen. 
They would just need access through Milan and Venice. They're allied to Venice. I have 15 Republican traditions because I just got. I've been getting sandwiched with negative events. 15. Yep. Is either that Jesus. or either, it was either that or lose two more, uh, two more stability. Today has been a, today has been a bad day. When your ruler dies, he's gonna become a uh, or. Probably when the next election comes up, you're probably going to have a uh, dictatorship. It might happen. That'll really suck. I won't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, understatement. Oh. So I think we should probably get ready for a war with Russia. They have 31 men sitting on my border. With a three-star general. Ugh. Yeah. Damn it, Russia. I'm I'm going to get fucked. This that war is going to fuck me. You better start moving your men real fucking soon. I have been. Do you see where my name is now? I have two names now on the map. Oh, you have two names? Yep. Hold on a minute. Where did Russia send their men? That's so weird. So you want me to? You don't want me to declare war on Kiva? Oh, I just got back now. Were you talking? No, I wasn't. But I can declare war on Kiva now. But I've stayed in that war for five years, unless you want to help me with Baluchistan somehow. I think we should probably prioritize Russia, especially if France will join. Even though France is probably not going to help much. They probably won't. France is still in. All right. You ready? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Ow, minus one stability. Why? Royal marriage. Ah. Uh... They're attacking my troops. My troops! They have What's 40... this war over? Uh. Krivoy Rog. Okay. Here comes all. Oh, Riga is it? So who's in this war? Russia, Denmark, and Riga. And France said no. They didn't take it. We might have to reissue it because apparently it's buggy today. They didn't. I can't. They declined. Yeah. They, I thought they were gonna accept. They they were on my map. They were. Uh, this is gonna be a close one. No, we're going to lose that. God damn it. One day. One day. Fucking game. Yep. Pretty much. Fuck France. <sighs> Pisa wants to be my buddy. Yeah, because you're they're orthodox. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least my troops only retreated to Crimea. This is going to be a shitty fucking war. Well, the good news is, once you take care of Voyrog, you can basically fight a glorified holding action. And Denmark's pretty high in war exhaustion already. 
I think they'll bow out before terribly long. You're the main force in this war. I can see that. Mostly because they just they beat the shit out of my what little men I had there. Yeah. I'm recruiting generals. Cause now I'm about to fight a bunch of more troops. We have higher military tech than they do. Of course we do, they're eastern. Now Russia's about to lose at Veronez. Let them lose. Let them let them spend time fighting you, I say. <laughs> they just lost uh, eleven thousand men. Pfft, it's not enough. Fuck you, France. Oh, Fr because France decided they wanted to declare war on Burgundy, Denmark, and Holstein. So Denmark is definitely going to leave soon. Oh, uh, okay. And well, I'm, at least I'm taking uh, Kirov's whatever. You should actually probably not take that in the peace deal. So we can just, just take... keep, so we can keep using it. Yeah. Yeah, that's my plan. You should um, seize their colony that will burn it better. Which one's their colony? West Tungutsk or whatever they're settling now nope, that you're worried late. about. Too late. They already took it because mm. they can just gain fifty, sixty percent per. What? <laughs> Let me go around these Byzantine troops and just attack these poor motherfuckers. Who, me? Yeah. I told you, man! What did I tell you? <laughs> I am... The game does not like you. No, the game really does not like me. The game has a deep-seated dislike for whatever I'm doing inside of it, and I'm not sure why. It's act it really is really frustrating that I'm just, like, completely shit on every single time. <laughs> it's, like, really fucking frustrating. Hey, we won it. Good job. From seven battles, zero war score. I mean, we lost Lipetsk. Mind you, I'll probably still go after... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's... This uh, land over here. Oh. I would hope you do try to take more stuff from the east. It's just... I lost a fight somewhere. Yeah, Poltava. Oh. I just stack-wiped him. Good. Not enough, but... Oh no, we're we're still... This is still anyone's... Still anyone's Whoa, match. You... What? Just, uh, take your troops that are in Poltava, send them back to the war goal. I want to get Russia to attack Poltava. Okay. See, this is one of those times where I kind of miss Hoi 2's ability to just control other armies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never played Hearts of Iron. Are they not going to attack? They might not. No. Looks... Okay, now they're going somewhere. I think they're going to Vrenz. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm basically just bait. I don't know. They're going after my troops. They are going after your troops. Which is going to end very badly for them. Yeah. I'm going to reinforce in Krusk. Yeah, I need troops in Kursk more than Vronez. Yeah, I'm sending them up now. I don't know if they'll get there in time. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was losing morale that much. Yeah, I'm there. I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> Doing my best. I, I think that's the motto of your military at this point. Just, I'm helping. Yeah, because every time I try to send my military in, they just, it's like priority number one. And you're just like, oh, fresh casualties. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, game. Russia, yeah, see, um, Mangazea up in northern Siberia? Um, where's that? I probably Far see. north. It's north of Surgut, which is north of Yurgan, which is north of Irtesh. 
Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if I have that possible to see, but okay, I know well, I know the general area that you're talking about. We'll send some uh, those two infantry regiments you got out east. Send them up there, because uh, it's where? Manganea. Manganea. You got um, two regiments on Heishi's border. Send them up northern Siberia because you should be able to get there in time to burn the colony. It's about halfway now. Okay. Yeah, I can't see that, I don't think. Is it is it bordering West Tunguska? It's it's like the northernmost territory on the map. It's got that giant river or lake or whatever's going on up there. Yeah, I don't know if I can see that. Well, if you send troops while you're at war, they'll explore the territory. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving. And Russia's attacking us again. Of course they are. Do I need to send In men? Kharkov. Public and free trade. Yay, I lose 50 points. Yep. They're going to start winning some sieges, too. Oh, well, we'll just have to chase him out of Smolensk. Oh, guess what act I got. <laughs> Again? Oh, they, Again. They're, they're starting to go after my men over in Siberia. They're kicking my ass. Ugh, damn it. Here they are zerging me in time. Yeah, Alright, we're going to have to... Go at their Moscow now. They're kicking the shit out of me over here. They sent 24 men just to reduce, just rip me apart. All right, uh, we're gonna focus on the Western Front then, because apparently yeah. we have to fuck them up. I told you, man, this was gonna be a tough fight. Told you. Yep, here they go. I've won some sieges, but there's no point in trying to stop them over here. They're just kicking the shit out of me. I have no manpower again. So. Build I armories. I'm, everywhere! I'm building. Everywhere! You need quantity, too. Yeah, I probably should have taken that as my next idea. Yeah, they're they're ripping me a new asshole. They're just chasing me down over here. It's goatsy over there. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Gaping. Not a fetish I'm into. Uh, apparently those goat simulator guys are naming their next expansion Goat Z precisely oh. because of that. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Yeah, why wouldn't they? Yeah, Russia just came through and just reduced the shit out of me. Where did, where did yeah, it... well, I'm besieging Moscow, so fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck them. I have no idea where they their new um their new colony is. You got troops in Novgorod, Seversky, send them to Tula. Um, okay. Let me see where that is. To Tula? Okay. Yeah, your troops... Uh, where is Tula? It's right on the border of Moscow. Old Ryazan territory, it's next to Ryazan. You own oh. Tula. How do you not know where oh, it is? Oh, I see it. I see where it is. Yep, I got it. Here comes that 25 stack that was sh taking the shit out of- taking the fuck out of me. Eh, whatever. Rush is down to 88,000 manpower and 74,000 troops. Ridiculous. They are such a ridiculous arm military strength. Yeah. 
It's because they have those ideas that just give them a shitload of troops and manpower. Yes, it is. They're sending all their men to siege the land I took over here. Eh, whatever. They just lost Moscow. Fuck them. Fuck them. Let's route them. Oh my god, they're sending 63 men to Tambov. I see them. That's gonna hurt. Yes, it is. I told you, man. I'm... I am... I'm... They now cancelled the invasion. No, they're you coming got... again. Okay. I told you, man. I'm... I'm pretty much bait in every war against the things that are on our borders. <laughs> you are. And that's... that's kind of rough. Eh, we got him. You see 63,000 and you kind of panicked. It's not a big deal. I did kind of panic. That's that's a lot of men. Let's see if we can get Denmark out of this war. No. They're still at high enthusiasm. Yep. How about Riga? Vassal. Oh. Fuck you, France. Oh, we just had to declare war on Denmark. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, France, man. Once again, proving that they are the assholes of this game. Well, I have the war goal. Yeah. So where where is Russia? Okay, your two troops in Ket. Yeah. Send them west one province, and then north two provinces. To where? To Mangazea. Oh, I see. Is that where they're, they're, they are? It's oh, next... I don't, they might have finished that colony now. It would be ridiculous. they're almost done. It'd be ridiculous if they've almost finished that colony. They've almost finished that colony. It's so ridiculous. I have more, almost double the men that they're getting. Uh, it's going to be a big fight in Moscow. Do you need men? Yes. Oh, my royal marriage with Russia ended. Woe is us. Yeah, oh no. Okay, I won in Moscow. Good. It's hard to siege them and fight them at the same time. It is. It's such, it, Russia is such a pain in the ass. Laws of siege in an area, but I'm not sure that really matters at this point. Saratov is kind of a non-entity. Yeah. Yeah, Mangaze is gonna finish. Yeah, I've, I just had no way to get over there. I had no idea where it was. It's tucked in deep. They're being dumb with how they're taking land, though. I should still be able to block them out. That's fine. Yeah, it's all the way up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see where it is now. That's that's ridiculously far away. Apparently, Russia's gonna attack me in Tula. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're going to yep. lose the fight. In Tula? Yep. You lost. They, they, they lost the fight. Yeah, as I say, you, you're you fine. That's what I said. I said they're going to oh, lose okay. the fight. Oh, okay. I'm like, there's no way you're losing that fight. You want to move some men over to um, Etreka? Yeah, Here, that's we'll... what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to win. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, Russia's already at 6.28 war exhaustion.
And they can absorb the casualties, but the war exhaustion is going to kill them. Yeah. Okay, I'm in it. I actually just moved to Angara. I might be able to block block Russia out. Well, that's good. Yeah. Although we still want to cut off Siberia in this war. I'm going. I'm working on that now. It's just that they sent like half their men over to fuck me up while doing that. Yeah, they are making stupidly fast progress in Moscow. Yeah. Which, you know, of course they are. Of course they are. It's, you know, it's it's Russia, man. I told you, I man. gotta scramble all my troops over there. They're such bastards. <laughs> I, I hate fus fighting Muscovy. But I took quality ideas, or quantity ideas, so... Hopefully, uh... I can actually start having more and more manpower. Conceivably, I could take a lot of land out of this war. I'm gonna now do something that is possibly stupid, possibly war winning. I trust you. You have my implicit trust. Yay. I'm gonna try and run down their army. Which involves marching into Russia in August. This will end well. You still have my implicit trust. <laughs> Hesitant. Hesitantly implicit trust? Yeah, hesitantly implicit trust. Well, I killed some troops in Kolm. Which is nice, but I probably lost more to attrition than anything else. Probably. Alright, I'm working on just creating like a a barrier. A barrier? Right yeah. Basically what I am in this game. I'm a <laughs> barrier. I'm a barrier between you and every serious threat in the game. A barrier for them. That too. I'm, I, it, it works both ways. <laughs> I'm really mad that Russia or France didn't join, join in. Yeah. Fuck France. After we've reduced Russia to a sniveling pile of pus and misery, uh, I said we go after France. Ugh. There's not really much to gain there for either of us. Not yet. Not yet. Vasa is not a democracy, and they should get used to it. We should consider their consequences. Nope, I'm not going dictatorship. Fuck that. Screw the fuck out of that noise. Why? You don't want to be a dictatorship? No, I've done that before. In um, the Super States mod, which would be a fun thing to play between the two of us. If and when it ever gets updated to the next next place. Um, uh -huh. Because what it does is it, bas it turns every state into uh, a republic. Almost all of Mexico into a republic. All of Aust Australia as a republic odd. It basically just turns modern day the United States into uh you know their own their own countries. Mm. It's a really cool mod. I really like it and I talked with the uh the mod maker quite a lot. He's a cool guy. You could play as Delaware and I could play as Arizona. <laughs> Delaware. Would Probably not would OPM. not it is. It's not a fun start. What we, what we should really do is play you as Texas and me as California. Texas. <laughs> Texas is one of the most powerful groups in that game. Of as, a, they are. as a surprise to none. So is California. New York is pretty strong in that that uh, that mod too. It's it's pretty cool. I like the the a historicity of it. The a historicity of it. Yeah, that's a word. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you don't have to verify it. It's all it's all good. Trust, but do not verify. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, take it take it on on uh, face value. It's all good. F 
fuck you, Russia. It'd be awesome if we could just break Russia up into like a million little pieces. They're at 7% war exhaustion. How's Denmark doing? Do you want out of this war? Nope. Soon. No. Soon, though. 18 I was out of. say, they got 7. 18 out of 6. 26. Yeah. If. Hmm. If we can get Russia to about 12 war exhaustion. Yeah. They'll have a uh, revolt risk in all their non Russian territories. Oh, good. That'd be good. They're non-ethnic Russian, I should say. Yeah. We would need to get it to, like, 20 war exhaustion to overcome the national defense thing. Hmm. Also, they are a lucky nation. Yes. We're turning that off next time. <laughs> well, I just killed a bunch of troops in Vladimir, apparently. I see that. You're definitely kicking the shit out of them. We knew that we'd need both of us to take this on. I'm fucking them up over here. Oh, call for peace. Fuck them. You need to siege down uh, Sarov next. Because I definitely want to cut off Siberia. I am in Berovs and Toblosk. And you don't want I don't think you really want to cut it off that far east. Okay, I can take Zerov and Komai. Uh, yeah, I think Komi's also in Europe. Is there a map mode for that? Oh, they're sending 19 men my way. Oh, shit. 20 men. I don't think I can do it. They're... Where are... With a five-star general. Fuck them. Where at? Uh, they are in... They're gonna. They're going to Serov right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna kick the shit out of me here. Oh, you got Berov. Berov. I could. I could cut them off right now. See if you. See if they'll take that peace treaty. If you can get Tiumen, Belibrebrede, Berov, and Mangazea, we'll be good. I can. All right. What else can you get? Um. Kurgan. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna send my. I'm gonna send it in. On pause. Uh, okay. Oh, that's more than I thought you would have got. Yeah. No wonder you wanted to send it right in. Yeah. Oh, you paused it now. Yes, I did, because I'm going to need some time. Well, the good news is... Next war, you'll probably be able to take the rest of Siberia from them. Yep. And that will uh, weaken them considerably. Yeah. All right. And we definitely want to go to war with them again. Yes. And by that point, hopefully, I will have uh, more men. Oh, uh, Tuscany allied France. Oh, no. Fuck, they're an elector. God damn it. Yep. Austria. Yeah, had one job. One job. Oh, I forgot to rival Russia before the war. It's okay. I, I, I can't did. embargo them either now. It's too bad. Mamluks still exist. Oh, they reformed. Yep, you might want to take out uh, Elodia, or you should probably just take Hajaz. Holy right? shit, at Elodia. When did that happen? I don't know. They ate Funge and then they ate half of a doll. It's pretty funny. I say to stop working in Hyuman. Since when does the AI listen to you? Never. 
They never listen to me. You should probably just devour Hijaz. Well, I've been busy carrying you. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, did, they're on did the you menu. would you expect me to be able to win a, a, a straight up fight with Russia? I don't think so. Yes. No, no. There's no way. There's no way. I I plan on taking the war with Russia a lot. I I plan on declaring war on them a bunch. I want them out. And it's not bad land necessarily. It's just near Russia. It just it is Russia. And and that hurts a lot. Yeah. <laughs>